Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks again for tuning in to this vlog. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support. It is Friday, April 10. Um, I have a very special guest today. But before we get started, I you know we're not talking COVID nineteen here. We're not talking uh, uh, any any updates, any numbers, any any information like that. Um, we're just here to have a, a chat, kind of catch up on well, how other folks are, uh, you know, uh, living uh, at home during the quarantine. Um, but if you do want to ha uh, catch up on the latest information on COVID nineteen, uh, you know, please go to these two websites, cdc.gov and who. Dot int. You can also follow your local uh, news stations and your local leaders. Uh, they usually put out a lot of uh, great content out there um, every day on their social media. And today, again, like other days, it's going to be a day full of press conferences. Um, so you can always tune into your local TV station uh, or, again, on social media. Uh, a lot of these uh, officials um, and organizations are carrying a live feed so that you can watch <clears throat> these press conferences and, and get the latest information there. All right, so I'm excited here to introduce and talk to um, a friend of mine, uh, Hollywood actress, Harmony Smith. Hi, Harmony, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Hi, Oscar, it's so good to see you. You too, how have you been? And how are you holding up uh, through this whole thing? I am trying to be positive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am, um, I've been okay. I mean, as well as can be expected, I guess. I'm just kind of, you know, trying to stay balanced and make sure to take care of myself, exercise, eat right, um, play with the dog, <laughs> just do stuff that, you know, makes you feel good so that um, I'm getting through this, you know, like everybody else, I guess. What about you? Well, um, I'm doing things like this, like this, like uh, live vlog, and um, you know, working, yeah. and uh, uh, I do have a po the podcast that you were so gracious enough to be in, and we still have that episode. Yeah. So, folks that are watching this can go back and listen yeah. to that. Uh, in fact, I'll include the link in the description later to this uh, okay. to this post, so that way uh, folks can go and and listen to it. Uh, but that's that's kind of what I've been doing, especially I mean, these days are uh, the last couple of days have been a little gloomy and yesterday was raining almost nonstop. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, no, I'm glad that, that you're OK and and that you have a little at least your little dog to keep you company there. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, but then you told me also that you had an audition. Uh, how did that go? I did. And how did how was the um, process? Like, since obviously you can't meet in person, how, how did that process go? Well, you know, I mean, self taping is really common these days anyway. So I have you know a little setup. Um, I turned this into a studio and put up a backdrop and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, um, CSI they are really kind. Uh, directors over there they actually are letting people audition um, just general auditions because they want actors to have something to do and I just I think that is the loveliest thing <laughs> they're probably realizing we're all going crazy all of us extroverts are cooped up inside with nothing to do and so they are allowing us to audition and um, what a sweet thing to do you know so yeah I was really excited about that very nice <laughs> No, that's that's awesome. And um, have you um, what what was the last project you did before everybody was told to stay home? You remember? Oh, uh, before everyone was told to stay home. I don't know. I've just been doing a lot of auditioning. I've been working on um, a script that is my own um, passion project. Um, I'm set to start filming a thriller that, um, yeah, we were supposed to start filming on that probably sometime around now. <laughs> so that's been put on hold. Um, but, you know, we're all just hoping that we get back to work soon. And we're just trying to remain optimistic. I mean, what can you do? You know, it's like um, you just have to go with the flow and keep keep the faith and just uh, hope that things go back to normal, you know. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, no, same here. Uh, even even the trip to the grocery store is uh, 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 quite at the adventure now compared to just two weeks ago. I, yeah. I didn't. Um, yeah, it, it. I mean, have you have you gone out to you know shop at the grocery store, and how has that experience been for you? And also. Just driving around the uh, L.A. area, uh, what have you seen? What have you noticed? Um, you know, going to the market, the first time that I went, it was shocking. It was really, it feels almost like apocalyptic, you know, yeah. people in their masks and, then, you know, security guards making sure everyone's six feet apart. Um, and waiting outside in the rain, you know, because they're they're just trying to keep it moving fast, you know, inside the market. So they don't want too many people to come in at once. Um, it was sad. It was like I felt like everyone is so afraid right now. And, um, you know, I'm kind of a happy, uh, you know, conversationalist. I like to just interact with people and and have fun and joke around and it was like none of that was happening <laughs> it was like everyone's standing in line everyone looks scared to death to be there people are wearing masks and gloves and i didn't enjoy it nope did not enjoy it so basically just trying to go to the market as little as possible stocking up bringing it home staying at home you know yeah yeah well i, I plan on um uh, well, first of all, I stocked up enough that that it'll last me for the next two weeks or so. Um, but at some point, I do yeah. want to go out just for a drive, just to get out. Because actually, yeah, I think in the last, I th I, I'm, I've been working for about a month now remotely, and I think I've only gone out maybe three times in that month. Um, the rest of the time, I kind of just either walk around the little complex here or. Um, um, uh, stay home doing doing some of these projects, and I think I'm actually gonna start taking up on uh, taking up reading again. <laughs> um, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, what book are no you way. reading? I'm so into watching movies. Oh, what is it called? Oh God, the next best thing, something like oh, that. Okay. Um, it's I listen. I I don't know much about it, and I I really don't want to say a lot about it. But let's just say that it was a book that I found in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was like, you know, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, it's re I'm sad to say that I don't read that much anymore because my eyes have gone blurry. Like as soon as I hit like 30 years old, my eyes started getting blurry, blurrier and blurrier. And it's so frustrating when I'm reading. <laughs> I just stopped reading. <laughs> it sounds awful, right? Oh. Uh, but I do watch a lot of good movies and TV and, you know, that's my industry. So. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, still oh. educating myself. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because are there any <laughs> any uh, movies uh, out there that you recommend right now for people to watch right now, especially while they're at home? Any any uh, oh, streaming services, for example? Yeah, I mean, well, hey, you know, uh, I say steer clear of anything like uh, pandemic oriented. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it kind of weird how you look on Netflix and it's all of these old movies about epidemics and, you know, uh, yeah, the end of the world. It's like, why do people want to focus on this? No, people, <laughs> we need to be visualizing better things. So um, I've been, you know, watching some fun old classics. Um, Risky Business the other night. Ooh, yes. It's just so... Yeah, it's like when you have this much time on your hands, you know, you can uh -huh. just watch all of your old favorites. But um, I've been doing a lot of TV watching because I love to binge watch. And um, I finished Fleabag last night. That's oh. so good. Have you seen it? I have seen the first episode. Um, and then yeah. I tried going back to it. There's just so many shows out there. In fact, I have been yeah. binge watching The Office. <laughs> I can't get oh. enough of that. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Cannot go wrong. The Office, Friends, Seinfeld. I always watch Seinfeld at dinner time. You know, those um, those comedies are like, they will brighten your whole night, you know? So, yeah, I definitely recommend watching comedies. Um, Top of the Lake is a good one. That's a good thriller that's on, um, what is it on? It's either Hulu or Netflix. I kind of have all of them. Oh, what's um, that one about? Oh, oh, God, it's great. It's... Um, 
written by Jane Campion. She's just this brilliant uh, writer, director. She direct, co-directed it too, I think. And it's about a, an investigator, um, a female investigator that has to go back to her hometown. And um, of course she gets, you know, caught up in it. Um, and it's, it's really, it's a powerful show and it's also unpredictable. And that's what I love about it the most is that you just, you think one thing's going to happen and it doesn't, you know, and it's beautifully shot too. So that's a really good one. Mm. Um, Killing Eve is one that I finished that um, season two is starting or not season two, but the next season is starting, I think this weekend. So I'm excited mm-hmm. about that. Have you seen that one, Killing Eve? Uh, I saw it. I saw a couple episodes on a flight yeah. some time ago. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, and, and it looked really interesting. But then I think you might have been playing on, I want to say HBO. Um, it was one of these uh, channels was that it? I don't get. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, yeah, okay, exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to have to find them. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this... this um, network had a streaming app so i'm probably gonna find it and yeah and check it out because definitely uh, i think yeah you, you were able to get some episodes but not all of them especially the current season oh, on okay. streaming devices right now unless you go to like this special network but i can't remember which one yeah. it was so i'll have to research i know that i can't remember bit. either i'm gonna have to look into that because <laughs> i definitely <laughs> want to see the next season barry's another one barry's oh Brian yes Barry. yes i'm obsessed so with that uh has the new season yeah. started <laughs> No, I want it to oh. so badly. Yeah, it I remember. It kills like, me that show. <laughs> I no got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, it's such a good <laughs> show. But I, I, uh, I, I thought the. Uh, by the way, I liked your Wonder Woman mug. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. A yeah. Inspiration for the day, you know. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, there's just tons of great stuff out there. With with Barry, I remember I got the HBO app because uh, I had this seven day free trial, and I got it at the. Yeah. Um, I think it might have been like the tail end of um, Game of Thrones because I really wanted to watch that, Ooh. and but at the same time, Ooh. I didn't want to have to spend all this money on HBO if I wasn't gonna, you know, yeah. continuously watch it. Uh, like I do with some yes. of the other streaming services, but then all of a sudden, like Barry comes up, and then uh, Vice Principals I really liked, and I think that show ended already. Mm. But uh, yeah, with Barry, that uh, yeah, that show is just crazy, but crazy good. It is so crazy. It's hilarious. <laughs> Any anyone who's been an actor who has been in acting yeah. school can relate so well to that show. In fact, I think that they filmed some of it at my old acting school. Oh, okay. um, so I just I just love it. I really enjoy that one. Game of Thrones, I never got into. I don't know why. Really? It's so violent that I think that that kind of like made me not be able to really watch it. Oh, I don't yeah. like violent shows. Yeah, I just <laughs> I just feel I feel it too much. You yeah. know, it's like yeah. I actually feel it <laughs> physically sometimes. And so I just try not to watch really violent stuff. But I know it's a brilliant show, but it's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> I think I'm like the only person on the planet. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. So out of all the TV shows or movies that you've seen recently, is there one that you really want to be part of? Especially TV shows. <gasps> oh, all of them. Oh, God. <laughs> if you if you only um, had to pick one, which one would that be? Oh, if I only got to pick one, what would I choose? Maybe like... Handmaid's Tale, ooh, ooh okay. it's so good. Or maybe um, Big Little Lies. I love that show too. Um, I just, you know, I love all different genres and styles. And um, whenever I'm sure a lot of people do this, but whenever I'm watching something, I always, you know, kind of feel like I'm the character. Um, so I can feel, I can see myself, you know, doing most of the shows that I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love, I love thrillers and I love, uh, you know, deep subject matter. I think Handmaid's Tale's brilliant. Have you seen that? Uh, I have also seen a few episodes of that one. I yeah. haven't, I haven't fully gotten into that one. Like there is another mm-hmm. one called, I think, Harlots on. Oh Hulu. yeah. Yeah. I heard about that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so I tried watching that, but sometimes, um, I get a little bit frustrated with uh like hour long shows unless they oh, okay. really kept it yeah because i uh it i have to be in the mood for them uh yeah uh i usually i usually like to stick to like the 30 minute comedy sitcoms just so mm-hmm. i can get a good laugh especially now so right. i can kind of you know just forget about what's what's happening for a while and 
And so I watch the comedies. Yeah. But um, yeah, like lately, um, if it's if it's a show like well, like Barry, for example, I like mm -hmm. those. But I've also been watching some documentaries. I guess uh, Disney. Uh, I have Disney Plus as a, a year long subscription because I when I bought my iPhone, it came with it. Uh, and so I've been uh, watching a couple documentaries, including the one with um, the one voiced by um, Meghan Markle. On okay. Elephants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I haven't finished oh, it yet, but that. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's really good. Do you follow the the Royals? <laughs> um, no, I don't. Should I? <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't really. Just whenever the new. <laughs> Whenever the news pops up on on one of them, then you know I get it on my phone uh, just as a, yeah. as part of just the general news that I get anyway. But just yeah. to follow them, follow. Them. Although I, I I don't know. I mean, there's um there's I know there's a lot of interest in them, uh, and yeah. there's documentaries also on Netflix. And one yeah. of the trending ones right now is uh, um shoot, what is it? Uh, that show with uh, <laughs> why am I blanking out? Um, it's not Queen, is it? The queen. the queen the queen yes that's brilliant yeah are you talking about the actual royals that's what you're saying are you are you oh, ask, yeah. asking if i follow like the royals okay yes, yes. oh i thought you it was a tv show <laughs> no, no no although it sounds like one I was yeah like, it sounds like one right um no you know what i don't i really don't i i'm just i don't know why i don't um but uh the i have seen the queen and it's beautifully done and really well acted i've seen you know quite a few episodes i don't know why i stopped watching i should probably go back to that one <laughs> <laughs> um uh, so with uh with this this quarantine uh stay at home order in place uh can you just walk me through just a typical day of what you do uh just so you can get a clear picture of of uh your process uh, to not go nuts over this, and also like, why? How much news do you even consume about this? Because for me, I mm. although I work in news, once one before my shift and, and after my shift, I I tend to just decompress by doing something else that's not, you know, following the the yeah. pandemic so close. Um, but, yes. but yeah, what do you do? What's your typical day like? Um, I don't watch a lot of the news. I'm not a political person. I, I really um, try and be open minded to all sides of everything. And I feel like um, the country is so divided right now. Um, I don't want to be a part of that. I feel like we all need to work together and that we're all in this together and there's no reason to choose sides and believe you know, uh, there's just so much mudslinging and there's so many conspiracy theories and it's it's mind boggling to me. It's like uh, you never you know, you don't really know. <laughs> it's like, what is the truth? I, I don't know. But what I do know is that we shouldn't be fighting against each other. We should all be banding together. And so um, as far as the news goes, I'll just I'll just watch a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. um, I want to keep myself educated, but I I also don't want to focus uh, too much on, um, you know, things that are being depicted that maybe, you know, are going to throw, throw me into a tizzy in my mind and, and get scared. And, you know, um, like you were saying, we all need to come up with routines to keep us grounded during this time. And so I'm really just, you know, surrounding myself with positivity and, um, good healthy uh, routines like, okay, so what do I do? I, I wake up really late. <laughs> That's one advantage to this whole thing, right? Same here. Um, yeah, wake up pretty late. I have to confess. Um, and then I'll do uh, take my dog out. Um, he just sits there. I don't know if you ever see Lamb Chop on my Instagram, but he's my little one-eyed one -eyed dog. And he actually sits like this by the <laughs> foot of the bed <laughs> waiting for me to wake up. So oh, okay. um, yeah, he is encouraging me to take him for his walk. He gets very grouchy if I don't. So <laughs> I have to take him for just a little walk um, close by. And um, that's always nice. And then I will do some juicing. Like right now, where's my juice? <laughs> I am juicing because this stuff keeps you super healthy. What um, is that? <laughs> what does it consist of? Ah, it looks so gross, right? 
It is <laughs> celery, beets, um, apples, carrots, cucumber, and ginger and lemon. Ooh, and you know, I love I love juices like beets. that. Yeah, I yeah. love juices like that, especially if they have, um, well, the ginger is good, but usually I add cayenne pepper as well. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it feels that really good. Gets it, it, things moving. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's, yeah, I, if, you know, sometimes they do a little bit of the master cleanse. I don't know if you've heard of that, but that has just um, maple syrup, lemon juice, and cayenne pepper, and it's really good. It really detoxes you, like, you know makes your skin look great and takes away all those aches and pains and stuff. But yeah, so I, I juice and then um, I'll do some cardio, 40 minutes. And now since I can't go to the gym, I'm like doing my um, exercises on my machine. So I'm taking like, you know, cans of soup and stuff and like exercising on the machine. You know, you know, I they, look so ridiculous, but <laughs> and they don't, they don't, they're not paying me for this at all. But I actually, I downloaded the Nike training app. Um, okay. Yeah, Nike training. It's like this uh, logo that looks. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. It's like the little green. Ah, uh, it's kind of blurry. Okay. But, um, blurry, but I, I, yeah. I get the gist of it. Yeah, and um, and, and usually it's a a paid subscription to it because they have all these workouts but um mm -hmm. right now because of the pandemic they're offering the their their premium uh content for free uh oh, you just wow. have to download the app the uh, download the app is free and then i guess from there you can just access um you know all these workouts or routines for free and so they're doing oh, it uh, yeah 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 and and they're doing it for you know, I don't know how long, but as long as this pandemic is, is going on, the stay at home orders are in effect, uh, which could be, you know, a, a while. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I I, I got to stop. I, well, I got to start uh, working out more, I, uh, especially at home. Uh, right now, it's just uh, I, I spend so much time doing my job. And then, like you said, sleeping in late. Which actually, yeah. it's, it's kind of helping because uh, just a few days ago, I was feeling this this little like tickle on my no uh, on my throat, and then um, I was like, oh, oh no, oh no, I hope I don't get sick. No, then, no. <laughs> but then, but then I slept, and I really slept. I slept for maybe like eight hours straight, yeah. and I woke up refreshed, and that tickle was gone. Yeah, I know. It's it, this can, you know, we can really think of this as a very healing time if if we choose to. I mean, there's no pollution right now, you know, mm -hmm. there's no traffic, the animals all seem super happy, the birds are chirping more. <laughs> um, you know, people are more sensitive and it's like you, when you do come into contact whether it's a neighbor and you're just like waving from across the street, it's like you know, people genuinely care. It's like, how are you doing? You know, it used to be like, oh, yay, how, how are you doing? Like, and you don't even care uh, or they don't care or whatever. But now it's like we genuinely care about each other, are concerned for each other. And um, it's, wow, it's different. People are behaving differently and it, it could be a good thing, actually. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's definitely a different different world we're living in right now but um with with uh with everything that's that's going on now do you think there's going to be some things after this whole thing is over that you're going to keep doing like for example i i don't know if i'm going to shake hands ever again uh or i'm definitely going to be washing my hands a lot more thorough yeah so are, are there any any practices you're you're doing now that you think you're going to keep doing after this whole thing is over um, I mean, I have to admit, I'm loving the FaceTiming with people. I think that that's kind of cool. It's like, uh, I didn't used to do that as much. I was more of a texter, you know, but now mm -hmm. it's like, if I can see people's faces, um, it just feels good. And I've been, you know, reaching out to people. It's like, you have all this time on your hands and you're thinking about the people who are meaningful to you. And it's like, wow, I haven't, you know, talked to one of my best friends in like two years. What am I doing? I need to call her, you know, see if she's OK. Um, I, I think I'll continue with that. It's like, you know, our human relationships are the most important thing. That's what you start to realize at a time like this. So um, as far as the hand washing thing, I've always been fanatical about washing my hands. 
<laughs> I think it's because I have allergies. And so I um, am always like very concerned with like little things like, oh, is that a cat hair? Or, you know, whatever. So I've always been big on wa washing my hands. So that'll probably still continue as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, well, Harmony, before we wrap this up, um, is there anything else you'd like to say? Just to, I, I just want to give you the last word. Anything you want to add and say about anything? Um, just hang in there, everybody. Uh, we're doing this for each other. I know that it's, you know, it's a bummer and it's it's frustrating and it's hard having these rules put on us, but um, we have to band together right now. Um, you know, we're doing it for each other and it's, it's, it's not to be taken lightly. Um, I think that if we can think of each other, um, you know, we'll get through this a lot sooner and, um, just, you know, to stay positive and, um, I'm here with you. <laughs> and if you want to reach out, I'm on Instagram, Harmony Smith. Um, I love connecting with people and talking, and I think that it's so important right now. You know, being um, isolated feels awful, and um, we don't have to be. We can, you know, thank God there's technology, and we can reach out to each other through, you know, um, texting or emails or even on social media. So let's just write it out and stick together, and I have faith um this will all be okay yeah there you go by the way what is your favorite instagram feature feature what do you mean feature well you like, mean like filter well well it could be it could be like, like the, the little kitty cat one <laughs> like the ig stories for example or going live oh. with instagram or just posting on the feed or yeah like you said put, playing around with the filters uh like what's your favorite thing about um, instagram I do. I mean, the, my favorite thing is definitely connecting with people. I love talking to everybody and just, you know, I try to respond to as many comments as I can and I try and post a few times a week. Um, I do love the stories as well. Um, it's, you know, a nice distraction at a time like now. You can just go on and look at everybody's stories and you can just see that we're all in this together. It's not like, it's not like there's anyone out there who's you know, immune to this, um, we're all going through it and it makes you feel better, you know, to stay connected. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like the filters too. I'm definitely a fan of, of playing around with the filters. They're so cute and funny. And, um, I don't know. I think I love all of it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I like all the features. Huge social media there person. You. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Well, Harmony, thank you so much for joining me on my vlog uh, this morning. It was, uh, well, afternoon now, actually. But thank you so yeah. much for coming on. It was a lot of fun talking to you. Thank you for having me. It's always great talking to you. Oh, well, thank you. Well, stay safe, and we'll talk soon. I will. I will, <laughs> and you too. All right. Have a good day. And for all of you watching uh, this uh live right now on my Facebook page. Thank you. Thank you for your support. For anybody watching this afterwards, I am going to be uploading it to YouTube. So you might be watching this on YouTube. Uh, then um, uh, thank you <laughs> for your support and for watching. Um, I'm going to be doing these daily vlogs for as long as I can. Uh, but um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can always uh, ping me on the comment section below. Um, subscribe to my Facebook page and also uh, my YouTube channel and set up, set up those notifications so that you can um, uh, be alerted when I do another of these uh, live vlogs and you can uh, tune in and, and I can answer some of your questions. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, uh, on my Instagram account and Twitter, you'll see it down, down there at, your, uh, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, oh, Flores News is my Instagram. I usually put some cool uh, little uh, behind the scenes stuff out there or graphics or some some other things that are a little bit more on the personal side. Uh, Twitter, O oh Flores is mostly, uh, I would say like maybe 99% of it is just news. I retweet updates and stuff like that. But if you really want um, information, specific information and, and the latest updates on the COVID-19, uh, you can go ahead and visit cdc.gov and who.int. 
plenty of great resources. I've been to both websites, uh, especially the CDC, which is based here in the in the U.S. and and they have a lot of guides, uh, like if uh, what to do if you're going out grocery shopping or uh, how to disinfect. Uh, your home properly or how to wash your hands properly so just a lot of ton of ton of great resources at these uh on the two websites of course follow your local media sources local health officials um and get information that way all right thanks everybody for watching uh stay safe uh be sure to get some fresh air and until next time uh i'll see you later